Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is, you know, performing the indicated operation with polynomials. In this case, we're going to subtract. In some cases, it, the directions won't say subtract. It will say um, perform the indicated operation. And you know what to perform by looking at what's in between the parentheses. In this case, it's a minus sign, so you're going to subtract. So let me read it to you, and then you can try it on your own. You have x squared plus 3x plus 6, close parentheses, minus, open parentheses, x squared minus 4x minus 9, close parentheses. Pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. All right. Now, you can do it all one step, which I don't recommend. Um, and doing it one step would mean that you take x squared and you subtract x squared. You have 3x subtracted um, minus a negative 4x. And then you have 6 minus uh, a negative 9. And that can be a little confusing. So what I recommend to my students before they do anything is that they distribute the negative sign. Because you have like a negative one here, right? When it's not, what's implied in front of the uh, parentheses is a one. So you distribute a negative one to each of these terms. Basically, what that does is if it's positive, it becomes negative, right? If it's plus sign, it becomes a minus sign. If it's a minus sign, it becomes a plus. Because a negative times a negative is. Right, it's positive. So then you just distribute. This stays the same. So it's x squared plus 3x plus 6 minus x squared plus 4x plus 9. And the reason why I recommend doing this is because our eyes have a tendency to jump. Especially when you have the negative sign, it gets a little tricky. For example, I see students do this, 3x minus 4x. But you're not doing that, because you're subtracting. When you subtract, you have 3x minus a negative 4x. So when you have a double negative like that, it makes it 3x plus 4x, which would be a 7x. So I, I don't recommend doing that. I recommend just writing it out and then just combine like terms. So you have x squared, I'm underline that once. You have x's in there, right? You have a 3x and a 4x, those are like terms. I'm going to underline those twice. And then with the constants, right? Constant doesn't have a variable, right? It's not varying, that's what that means. And so you have 6 with the 9. And then you just add a term. So x squared minus x squared, that cancels out. 3x plus 4x gives you a 7x. And then 6 plus 9 gives you a positive 15. So again, combine my terms and don't forget to distribute that negative sign. Alright, that's it. 